November is Radon Awareness Month, and if you're like me, you might be wondering, well, what is radon? And uh, luckily, we have Rob here from Canada Radon, and uh, what is radon? Well, it's uh, it's a uh, uh, inert uh, radioactive gas, uh, naturally occurring, comes from the ground beneath our homes. You can't see it, smell it, or taste it. Uh, the only way to know uh, if you have it is to test for it. Um, it is a deadly gas, isn't it? That's right, it's a uh, radioactive carcinogen. It's a class one carcinogen. It's the second leading cause of lung cancer. Uh, and it's the first leading cause of lung cancer in non-smokers. Um, we're talking about preventing radon. It's everywhere though. You can't get rid of it completely, but what you can do is you can help lower the levels in your home. That's right, uh, exactly right. So radon is just a part of the world we live in. Uh, we have small levels of radon right here outside. Uh, typically, in, in most Canadian homes, uh, the levels are, are not elevated. Uh, we know in Hamilton, one in seven homes uh, has elevated levels of radon. And uh, the good news is preventing it is easy. Uh, prevent and prevention goes a long way. Uh, that's higher than the national average. You said one in seven in Hamilton. That's one in 15 across the country, though. That's right. It's nearly double the national average wow. uh, here in the Hamilton. Um, so if we test it, how do we test for it? Well, uh, testing is easy. Uh, it's uh, very simple. There's a number of options that homeowners have, and uh, I, I wanted to show you one of the test kits, uh, but there, we'll show you one later. Yep. Uh, Health Canada has approved a number of uh, uh, simple test kits. They're called Alpha Track dosimeters. Uh, they look like a hockey puck. Uh, they're very inexpensive, under fifty dollars. Uh, you can buy them on uh, many of the advocacy websites or CanadaRadon.com. Uh, we sell them as well. Mm -hmm. uh, you typically will run them for uh, ninety-one days or longer. That's considered a, a legitimate test, and a lab will send you back your results. And from there, you can make decisions on what to do. Uh, so we are at a house. The homeowners they got one of these tests. They found out these levels were high, and what they do, they called you. That's at right. Canada Radon and you guys are actually working inside and we'll just come around the house here because you can sure. see what you guys are doing. You're, you're pumping in fresh air to A, make your workers safe, but B, really keep everything safe on the level. That's right. So basically what we want to do here is we want to make sure that the home environment is, is, is well ventilated for our workers. This particular home had levels in the 600 range. Uh, so definitely um, something we don't want our workers to be exposed to. They're working, you know, day in, day out on these jobs. So we have fans set up to ventilate the home. We've got uh, our, our vacuums uh, routed into the home so everything's ventilating outside. We're not recirculating dust. And it goes a long way for keeping a clean, healthy, safe environment. Okay, we're going to head inside. We're going to meet the homeowners who gave you a call because uh, you guys are lifesavers when you think about it what you're doing to clean it out so we're gonna head inside we're gonna meet the homeowners and we're gonna find out more as we're talking with Canada Radon we're talking with Rob and we got more coming up here on CHCH Morning Live and we are back on CHCH Morning Live it is Radon Awareness Month and we have moved inside with our friends at Canada Radon and we're here with the homeowners uh, Carl and Sriti and uh, Carl how did you detect radon in your house? Yeah, so radon's been something I've, I've heard about in the news like over the years and as new homeowners, we, we thought we should probably get it tested. So went online, found a few different companies and bought a test kit. Uh, it's sort of like a film canister thing you put in the basement, left it there for three months and then sent it back. And uh, a couple weeks later, they gave us a report. It said that our, uh, our radon levels were high. They said they were about 500 when the, the Health Canada, the limit is about 200. Mm -hmm. So. Looked at that and thought, okay, we should probably do something about this. So you called Canada Radon, and uh, what was that process like? Oh, it was great. I, um, I called a few different companies, but um, I, when I talked to Rob from Canada Radon, he, he really walked me through the process. We spent about 45 minutes on the phone one night, and he explained what the dangers of radon were and why it's important, and then how we remediate the, uh, the radon levels in our house. So he walked me through the whole process and explained they just come in and, and put a, a fan in the basement, essentially, and bench it out the side. And, mm -hmm. Nice, simple, and easy. And they're sealing up some spots, and we're going to head down to the basement in just a little bit. But uh, Sridi Carl was talking there about the uh, the health impact of what radon can do, and we were talking about with Rob outside that you know it is one of the leading causes of uh, it is the leading cause of lung cancer in non-smokers. That that hit home for you, didn't it? Yes, I've been in cancer care for almost 13 years, especially taking care of lung cancer patients and 
this is a horrible condition to have so if there is a way you can mitigate the risk why not like why not yeah and what's what's the process been like uh, that they've been here what what what's how what's the service level it's been great yeah, yeah. they uh, like i said rob was really helpful on the phone that one day and they came by about two weeks later and and walked me through the whole process they they talked about different spots in the house where they could put it where it wouldn't be in papuras to keep it out of the way and then the guys started right away. They were drilling holes in the foundation and doing testing, and it's been it's been really fun. It's been a great experience. Okay, so we have one of the monitors here. Uh, we're actually going to head down now to your basement. You got a lovely home here, and we're going to head down to the basement as uh, we continue here. It's a Radon Awareness Month, and we're working with Canada Radon here today on CHCH Morning Live. And as we've been talking about all morning here on CHCH Morning Live, November is Radon Awareness Month, and we are here with Rob from Canada Radon. And uh, Rob, we were talking with the homeowners, Carl and Sridi. They gave you a call, a 45-minute consultation over the phone. Yeah. You guys were here right away. Uh, what's the process after that? Now you've entered the home, you have to detect the radon. What's the process like? Right, so um, as you mentioned, November being Radon Action Month, uh, uh, homeowners may or may not get a postcard like this uh, from Health Canada. Uh, over four and a half million have been put out so far. Um, once, once we get that call, uh, these are driving a lot of calls to us. Uh, we try to take in as much information as we can about the home. Our process then starts with diagnostics. So we come in, um, we will uh, set up our own equipment. Uh, this is a professional grade uh, radon monitor uh, that we can use to check the levels when we arrive. We ventilate the house to get the levels down, safe for our workers. Um, and we also check ground pressure. Uh, this is an important step for us uh, in understanding how much uh, pressure is on the house forcing radon gas into the house. Okay. Um, we want to reverse that uh, with suction, uh, which is how our systems work, and these gauges are a key part of that. Uh, when we were talking with Carl, he said he got a test, a do-it-yourself kit, which you can get, and this one here that I'm holding, this one is the gold standard of radon test kits. Yeah, it? I mean, that fam, that kind of a, of a tester uh, is a simple, it's called an alpha track detector. It's, uh, it's one of the, uh, the gold standard test kits that you can buy. Uh, uh, they're Health Canada approved. We sell them on our website at canadaradon.com, uh, but you can buy them um, almost anywhere, the advocacy groups, uh, big box stores. This is one thing that, you know, when you think about your health, you know, you yeah. work out, you eat healthy, you do everything right, and this is one thing that maybe you don't think about is, is the radon in your home. Absolutely, and it's, it's an interesting point. Um, researchers at University of Calgary uh, just released a study and uh, found that uh, those that put off uh, acting on elevated levels that they find in their testing uh, can actually over a lifetime expose themselves to uh, levels of radon equivalent to a nuclear disaster like Chernobyl. So it's pretty dramatic, um, and it makes the point for acting quickly on your test results. And so if you get a number like Carl did, it was 500, yep. you guys realize, okay, we, we got to get in there. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's definitely uh, above uh, the can Canadian guideline for action. Um, the good news is it's easily fixed, and, and this is what is so compelling. Uh, mitigation is, is highly effective. Uh, the depressurization, the method that we use, is over 90% effective. Um, and it takes us a day or two to do our work. So, you know, getting that done, getting it done quick is key. All right, we have uh, Brad downstairs. He's going to show us. We, we know the numbers now. He's going to show us some of the mitigation techniques that you guys do uh, to make sure that we can get all that, as much radon as possible out of the house, Well, right? we, we get it as low as we reasonably can, uh, and that's typically between 40 to 80 uh, Becquerels. And again, once you finish, you're, you're not done. There's still monitoring that one right? that's right okay. yeah absolutely after we're done we'll run our own long-term test for the homeowner uh, that's their assurance and ours that the work is done right uh, that their levels are actually low uh, and uh, uh, like I said it goes a long way uh, that's a file that they will get back from a third-party lab yeah. not us hmm. so it's hands-off and it gives both of us that confidence that we've done our yeah, job that's good all right well we're yeah. gonna make sure Brad's doing his job uh, downstairs we're gonna continue here uh, on radon awareness month we're done Action Awareness Month uh, as we Radon continue here month, yes. on CHCH Morning Live. We're back here CHCH Morning Live with Canada Radon as November Radon Awareness Month, and we're down with Brad, who's uh, doing the mitigating now. So, Brad, what's what's going on? We got this fog going. Why do you have uh, Why do you have this going? Well, we fog underneath the slab to find out where our air leaks are going to be. So, right now, you can see behind the system here that uh, the fog's coming out. Mm -hmm. We've already sealed and spray foamed and, and reached what we could. 
Um, so we just left this open for... So this fog shows you where that radon's getting in, right? Correct. Because radon is odorless, colorless, like you won't be able to see it. So you get the fog to kind of mimic where the leaks yep, would be. Absolutely. Okay, yes. and we were talking over here, this sump pump, a lot of people don't have their sump pump sealed. That's gonna be a spot where that radon is gonna find a way in. That is a major source of entry into the home for radon. Um, it's connected to the weeping tile outside, the foundation, it's just a bad spot. Yeah. So I know I believe the new code is every sump pump has to be sealed. Mm -hmm. So just because this home's a little bit older, we're going to put a nice sealed sump pump lid in, and that'll solve this problem here. So uh, we talked about this home particularly. This when you got in, you thought it was just a, a two-level home, but that split level. How did that kind of affect the way you assess the situation? Yep, it's just another hole that we got to put in, and um, you can see behind where Mo's working, the floor is about two and a half feet above this floor. So if you, uh, we just cored a hole and uh, got into the gravel part on the living room floor. So this ceiling that we got uh, over here, and you've done the, the caulking along the side here, um, that's going to keep the radon out. That's it's gonna the... keep the radon out and it's also gonna just seal the slab. Mm. And that's gonna prevent mo moisture and everything else that's uh, underneath the house that's gonna be kind of get sucked in the home. What's what's the process like? Is this something that's going to take a week? Is this something that's going to take a couple of days? How long would usually, you guys be in a, a job? Yeah, usually it's about, you know, half day. Uh, this one here probably be a full day, if not a day and a half, mm -hmm. just because we had actually put three holes in because we have one on the main slab, then we have another hole for his living room that's elevated. And then when we're, we were doing some testing, we got no communication on the far end with his laundry room and his bathroom. So we actually cored a third hole um, just so we can get uh, some communication underneath the slab. So that same fan that put the fog out, gonna suck the radon out, and that's actually going underneath, that's in the gravel, that's gonna get more than just radon out though, right? Oh, it's gonna get uh, water moisture, any VOCs, methane, anything that's decaying underneath the house. Um, this house, when we walked in, you, you, it's a little musty in the basement. Uh, now with this system in, um, that'll improve the air quality of his home from uh, the smell and the moisture yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. So. Now, um, uh, the, this equipment, this tubing, this is all, this is part of the job, right? This is yep, just... that's just our exhaust piping. Yeah. Um, we're sucking on three holes and we're bringing it out to one pipe to the exterior of the home. Um, and uh, you, you and Rob have been partners on this? Yes, <laughs> yes, and uh, working with an engineer is uh, fantastic. So. <laughs> well, it's uh, it's I've learned so much actually today. This I, is, I, I, I mean, learned this is every one day. of those things. This is one of those things that you don't think about. Um, I, I mean, we should be thinking about. That, Absolutely, right? it's just it's so inexpensive, and it's can, you know, everyone's been touched with the with the cancer card. So yeah. uh, this is one thing you can do to eliminate uh, your health risk in the future. So. Yeah, it's all about being healthy, uh, Brad. Appreciate this as always. Hey. Pleasure. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you so much. I'm definitely uh, more informed than I, than I was before, and hopefully uh, you are too. And uh, thanks to Canada Radon for, for showing us the ropes here today on CHCH Morning Live.